on this show we often talk about dance being fantastic for your physical health, your mental health, your balance, your coordination, and even your brain fitness. Now we've done segments on rock and roll, line dancing, and square dancing. Today we're going to chat to Homan and Delana from HD Entertainment. And we're going to look at some many other dance forms where age is no barrier. Hi, Homan and Delana. Welcome to Over 50. So what? This is wonderful. Thank you for having us. Yes, it's exciting. <laughs> I love this beautiful studio and the floor is out, outstanding. Oh, we love it. We're, it's, a, it's a sprung hard floor so we can create and we don't have to worry about, you know, maybe twisting uh, a knee or anything <laughs> out. So this is good. It's good for us. And tell us about all the different dance styles that you do here in the studio. So we have predominantly partner dancing and a v wide variety from to salsa, to Latin and ballroom, to tango, but we also have ballet class and they're all group classes. But then we have private lessons, dance classes, and then we have upstairs, which you'll see at some other time, which is the fitness stuff as well. And you do Brazilian samba and Broadway as we well? Do, yeah, we have, well, yeah, we have teachers that come in because they're specialists and they're in musicals and they perform. And then when they're not razzling dazzling on stage, we try and get them in here to teach. Well, most of the viewers know that I'm an ex sort of dancer and I'm passionate about dance. Um, I'd like to hear your philosophy. The reason we sort of clicked was that we have a very similar philosophy with regards to dance. So could you two just share your general philosophy to health and well-being as we age? So there's lots of parts to this and dancing has got a really good avenue, but with aging as a concept and physical activity, the main thing is for people to have independence. And this is a really big deal about that. So they can move around, they don't have to rely on other people. Dancing can be a re really good avenue for that because it works on balance, um, social interaction. So you've got independence in the sense that I can go somewhere, I can interact with people. Physically, I can develop myself because of balance and all of those things. And you're on single leg, changing directions. The strength and conditioning side, that's a separate side to it. But in ballet class, for example, you do jumping if appropriate, if safe, and then that can help with people with osteoporosis. There's lots of research about evidence-based stuff that how can you treat osteoporosis, and that's jumping, if it's safe and appropriate for you. So there's lots of different ways you can utilise dancing. And I also think that it's an instant mood booster. I know that with, you know, students that I teach, sometimes they might come into class not feeling okay. great or they've, you know, had a rough day, by the time they've left, it's just a different different story because they've danced, you know, they're like happy, they've achieved something. So it's actually, you know, for me, I love seeing that instant mood lift. And we don't have a specific, you know, over 50s class, but we, we're really big on inclusivity. So if you are 18 or 50 years old or 60 years old, 70 years old, you're all as one team, which is lovely, which is kind of community based. But then the key is making it safe and effective <laughs> for you. Hi guys, we've got Peter and we've got Tony and Toinette. Now you guys, start with Peter. Yes. Now you started doing tango when you were 49. Uh, yes, that's correct. I did say before the year, but all of a sudden just gone out of my head, but I was 49. <laughs> and since then, I really have been um, both going to classes, um, going to practice, we call it practica in tango. Um, having different teachers, it's also very important because in one class, you know, you get to uh, learn how to dance with the people in that class, but when you go to a social dance, they've been to other classes, so you really need the um, different viewpoints of different teachers. So, Tony, how long have you been doing tango for? Thank you. I'd say about nine years, ten years. And what made you take it up? Did you do other dance forms before? Um, I made it for my health because I am diabetic and I don't want to take the tablet, so instead I dance. So it's really helped you with your insulin levels? Absolutely. Well, I can see that you've got all the moves and you've got the shoes to match. <laughs> so how long do you think you'll keep doing tango for? Until I drop dead. <laughs> you know, I know you have to go to the gym and everything, but tango is a lot more posture and, you know, it helps you out to walk and sit and and to hold somebody, the embrace. <laughs> so what would you say to the men and women watching the show today about giving tango a try? I think you should try it, it's really good. Very, very good for you, uh, also for your health, and also meeting people as well, you know, and you embrace someone, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 
It's, it's healthy. I think it's healthy not just uh, physically but also mentally. And you come into here, it's a sort of a special world. You can leave other issues behind. So what do you call the tango disco? Uh, well, that's the Malonga. That's where you get, you get a little bit of show-offing, show-off sort of uh, happening there. So you have to be, sort of be ready for the Malonga, at least for the guy. I went to Argentina to study for a week. So you went to Argentina to study Argentinian tango. For, wow. Did you do it out in the streets there? Uh, no, no. Um, in a big building, but they have Milonga from 11 o'clock till 6 o'clock in the morning. And that's every day. So 11 o'clock at night till 6 in the morning. Very morning. Yep. <laughs> wow. So that people would come in at a really beginner level and work from there. Absolutely. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's what it's about. Yeah, yeah, and that's our job to be able to teach you. You know, you don't have to be, come straight from Dancing with the Stars, or you know, you're like straight from the the ballroom competition and go, yes, I'm ready to to do a class. We, we're all at different stages in different styles. Now, just about every single person over 50 has a dodgy elbow or a shoulder or a hip or an ankle or a foot or a neck or something. Um, how do you accommodate that within all the different dance styles? Well, firstly, we make sure we ask people of what's going on with their body. So, and when we get that information, we have to look at that and then, then we at least, at least understand who you are and what you've come into the class with. We all have different things, but then from there, we modify the specific elements of that class. So it's okay for your knee. You might have a chair that you squat down to instead of just doing it free. You might have a ballet bar you hold on to. Maybe your range doesn't have to reach all the way above your head. It might be just to your shoulders. So we modify so it's safe and effective. So what would you say to someone who's a bit older, but who'd love to do Broadway, who'd love to try ballet again, or maybe they did it, you know, years ago, and they're just a bit hesitant about doing it with younger people. What would you say to those people about their concerns? I think they're valid concerns because it's like, it's, it's scary trying different things. You know, we're, we're all like, oh, am I going to look silly? Or, or no matter what you're doing, whatever stage. But I think come and have a look at it first. If you feel like it's too much to, you know, commit to it. And then once you're there, that's the biggest step. Because then you go, oh, the teacher's not mean. They're not yelling at the students. Oh, they're having fun. You know, oh you know what, it's great. I can interact and be involved in this community. Have you thought about learning a special dance style for your special big birthday? <laughs> or maybe as a surprise for someone else? For information on dance styles available at HD Entertainment, please go to our website, carolohalloran.com. Want to meet some locals over at coffee or a tea? Check out Chatty Cafe on the website. Or if you have a cafe or restaurant, you'd like to set up as a chatty cafe. Please connect with us on Facebook, YouTube, Insta, over 50, so what? So if you are traveling around Australia and you'd like to meet some of the locals, just check out where the chatty cafe is and drop in. What a fantastic idea that is. Remember, growing older is inevitable, but growing up, well, that's optional. I'm Carol. Over 50, so what? Thanks for watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? <laughs>